What's going on everyone? This video is for everybody who has a first generation Highlander 2001 to 2007. So today what I got going on is my passenger tail light won't turn on when I press the brake pedal. The reverse light and the blinker still work, it's just the tail light that's not turning on. So basically with first generation Highlanders this is a very common problem. So basically the way your brake light is set up is here's the main connection going into the reverse light. And then this connection here where the light bulb plugs in also basically supplies power to your brake lights and your turn signal. And the theory is basically these metal prongs down here that my thumb is on lose connection with the metal prongs in the back of your light, for lack of a better word to call them. And basically you just got to take a tiny little screwdriver and push these metal prongs up a little bit. And that's supposed to help it have connection to the back of your light and make it work properly. But I've tried that and it didn't work. In fact, what happened was when I pushed those prongs up, it worked fine for a couple of weeks and then the light went out again and then after playing with it a little bit more I started having problems with the blinker and it was either not have a blinker or not have a tail light. So what we're gonna do today is just replace the socket. I got this at the dealership and believe it or not after tax this was only $16. So first and foremost if you gotta work by yourself get something big and heavy enough to push down on the brake pedal enough to turn the lights on when you need to check your brake lights in my case, just an old laundry soap container that I filled with water. Then, disconnect the old socket, like that. Then, grab your new one, open it up. And then, just connect it. And then here's just a little tip for putting your reverse light back in. Never touch the bulb with your bare hands. The oils in your hands are actually bad for these light bulbs and can make them burn out faster. So, get a rag and put your reverse light back that way. There we go. And there we go. And of course, as my luck would have it, when I went to work on my passenger side today, my driver side started having problems. So, I'm going to go ahead and replace the connector on this side. I'm not going to film it because it's basically the same process. But if this ever happens, just replace the connections. $30 for connections definitely beats a fix-it ticket. Alright, and then just make sure your reverse lights are working. Check your turn signals. And then when it starts to get dark, this would also be a good time to just check your lights and make sure they're all working. And we're good. I do have a little light bulb that sits right about here that's out. Here's my passenger side with that little light on. And I'll fix it, but the way that's set up, I honestly doubt I'm getting a fix-it ticket for that. Unless the cop truly has nothing better to do. And in case you're wondering, yes, I did do a video last time I worked on the Highlander, but when it didn't work, I decided not to release that video. I'm not here for temporary fixes or temporary bandages or anything like that, especially on a safety issue like brake lights. I'm here for permanent solutions and good videos. So, that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. It's quite hot out here. I'm going to go get into some air conditioning. Don't forget to check out Daniel's Car Talk channel on Facebook and Twitter. And I will see you guys next week.